When I was here at Claremont Graduate University, I started playing with larger space. At my undergraduate, you know, we had smaller studios, a uh, smaller space. At Claremont, I was given, you know, a large studio. I was given opportunities to use the galleries downstairs. I was able to work large, and I was given the tools and the agency to make larger work. Having a 40 foot by 40 foot by 14 foot gallery space at your disposal is, is a pretty great thing. Well, flagging tape is used in the industry to demarcate lines in space, and I thought using it for that same purpose, but as a woman, taking a material from a male-dominated field and repurposing it was pretty slick. And then I started drawing in space with it and realized that it looks hyper-real and really artificial and can create a really big sense of space pretty easily and a big impact. The Laguna Art Project was pretty fantastic because I hadn't had an opportunity to make a suspended work in a while. A lot of volunteers came down either from the community or from Claremont, and they were tying segments of flagging tape to a piece of uh, rigid fencing. The CGU students do a good job. Usually the reaction when people come in contact with my work is a OMG or WTF kind of moment because they turn the corner and there's this big plastic artwork, you know, that's super duper colorful and saturated. So people usually are just confounded by it and it kind of knocks them off their regular trajectory or their thought pattern and they get kind of transported into this new world, which is pretty addictive to be able to have that kind of power over the viewer. So it keeps me working. Work really hard on your work and keep your nose to the grindstone and treat it like a job. Go in there every day from 9 until maybe 9 p.m. Put in 12 solid hours a day making artwork. Take a chance, you know? That's the other thing, take a chance in grad school. If you keep making the kind of work you walked in making, then I kind of think maybe you missed an opportunity to branch out and try something new and take risks.